Hi guys, so I'm really quite excited. I've just stopped at a woodland on my way home. I've been out foraging at the beach. I picked up some mussels and winkles and some seaweed and other things. And I stopped at this wood because I've never been here before and it was on my way home and I thought I'd just have a quick look. And within 50 yards of the car park, I found my first ever chanterelles. For some reason, this mushroom has always eluded me. It's a bit of an in joke with some of my other mushroom hunting friends that I've found so many different mushrooms over the years, but I've never found chanterelle. So you can imagine how excited I am to share this with you. So as you can see, it's down here in the leaf litter. And uh, that's gonna give you a clue as to what sort of habitat we're in. These are old beech nuts from last year. So we're in a beech woodland and this is the perfect habitat for chanterelles. You see these mossy banks this is exactly where you want to be looking for chanterelles. And once you've found them, once you've found this yellowish looking mushroom, then how can you go about identifying them? Well, it really is fairly simple. Just the overall look of them is where you're gonna to wanna to start. But the key identifiers for making sure you don't have anything nasty, once you've got something that looks like a chanterelle like this, and you've got these yellow gills, you've got no ring, no vulva or egg sac or anything like that. Generally, you'll get a, these are fairly young specimens still, but look up in there. And what you'll see is the gills are not actually true gills. As you can see there, they're folds, folds on the mushroom flesh. That's one of the main identification features. You can also get another look like mushroom called the false chanterelle. But when you cut these open, you see how the flesh is white. So on the outside is yellow and you cut it open, you've got that two tone to the mushroom. That's another key identifier to tell you that you have chanterelles. So I'm gonna have another look around this area, see if I can find any more because I'm super, super stoked to have found these. But these are definitely going in the pot this evening. So there you go, chanterelles. Make sure you press that like button, leave me a comment down below. And if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. I'm in the middle at the moment of doing a self-sufficiency challenge throughout the whole of September. I'm only eating things that I've either grown myself or raised myself or foraged myself. So uh, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I'm doing daily updates on that. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll speak to you soon. Cheers.